Apropos Ausländer, uh, die nächste Person, I'm um, gonna have to switch to English, ob uh, it's good for you. Um, it's, uh, I hope to pronounce it right, it's uh, Jose Montiel McCann from Zalando. And um, here you are, just come on stage. I wanna see you here. And um, I had a dinner yesterday evening and uh, we had the uh, MD of Germany from Zalando there as well and we talked about the new building you just announced so you're going big with a huge it's campus fun. and uh, he explained um, why that is and uh, it's, it's on it's going to be on okay and it's um, and what the what the really the challenges are in communication uh, with the amount of people you have right now so uh, i think you have quite some 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 challenges here and you're going to talk about marketing in social media age and i i was reading that title and i was like oh Isn't that past? I mean, are we, aren't we past social media? So I'm really looking forward to what you're going to tell us. So, uh, Yeah, I hope I can convince you that we are not past the social media <laughs> age. Uh, hello. Um, so first of all, yes, a disclaimer. Uh, I am going to have to do this in English. I could do it in German, but I imagine that actually like wetting myself on stage would be less embarrassing for you all. So. Uh, if you like, I can close my eyes and anyone that doesn't speak English can just run out the room now. Um, yes, my name is Jose Montiel McCann. I'm from London uh, and I'm working in the social media team at Zalando. We are a global team of 10 specialists um, and we produce all of our content and all of our campaigns and our general strategy and we then delegate that down to our local teams who are responsible for localizing the content and engaging in local discussions on social media. So I myself am actually a history graduate, not marketing. Um, I graduated from Goldsmiths College in London. Uh, I could tell you all about how working in, uh, graduating in humanities sets you up well for working in marketing, but uh, yeah, that's another story, I guess. Uh, I did internships for The Guardian, which is obviously a huge media outlet, um, and Accelerated Intelligence in PR, which is uh, two obviously huge agencies in London, and then I moved to Berlin and started an internship at Zalando, which has now fortunately become my permanent job. Uh, Zalando itself obviously established seven years ago at what I would describe as the early days of the social media revolution. Um, and yeah, I mean, in seven years it's gone from being a small startup that founded by three guys to being one of the biggest private employers in Berlin and Europe's biggest online fashion retailer. So, excuse me. Yes, if you are not on social media, you are not on the internet as a brand. That much is abundantly clear by now. Uh, we spend over half our time on the internet on social media. That's about 2.2 hours a day. Uh, 78% of Europeans with internet connection have a social media uh, account. Um, essentially, it's where we now live our lives. It's where we communicate with our friends, it's where we interact with brands, and it's where we project our best selves. So it's extremely important that as an online brand, Zalando is innovating and inspiring on social media. Cool. So what are the challenges for social media? We have to transform our marketing strategy. It's no longer just about talking to our customers and telling them what our campaign is, what our message is, what we do. We have to talk with them. We have to engage with them and we have to create a dialogue which runs through several, uh, several social media channels. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, we have to, yeah, we have to become a part of our customers' social lives. Yes. We have to become a part of our customers' social lives now. It's not just about being on TV. It's not just about being sitting static in a magazine or 
on a cinema screen. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Uh, we now have to talk with our audience and we have to engage with them on every level. <clears throat> so what are the opportunities that social media presents us? Whoops. Uh, it presents us the opportunity to listen to our audience. It presents us the opportunity to see what people are talking about on Twitter, what, uh, what are the trends, what are people interested in, and it enables us to react to that and create a dialogue with our customers. It enables us to create a buzz through huge campaigns which are shared and go viral and which become a sort of a, a real-time, responsive, reactive story on social media. Uh, we are able to inspire and educate our fans um, whether that be through, uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, I've lost where I am. Yes, inspire and educate our fans through engaging and inspiring content. We can entertain our fans like never before and we can encourage them to share that with their friends and become loyal brand ambassadors. We want to make our customers happy. We want to tell enriching stories uh, that generate long-term brand love and become a part of our customers' social experience. Uh, what's our vision for social media? What are our goals? Well, we want to become the most used, most loved, and most recommended fashion social media content in Europe for Zalando's high-impact core customers. What does that mean? How do we measure that? Well, we want to be reaching our customers on a large level. That's how we measure how well used we are and how well known we are. Uh, we want to inspire likes, hearts, favorites. We want people to love what we're doing and love our content. And most importantly, perhaps, we want people to recommend us. The amazing thing about social media is that it allows our customers to be brand ambassadors on a bigger level than ever before. It's not just a case of, oh, I bought this awesome t-shirt, let me call my friend and tell her about it. Now you share it with the world on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, all of your channels there. Uh, yeah, so basically we want to be a springboard for fashion discussion. It's not just about telling people our campaign, it's about giving the campaign over to the people and allowing them to discuss it and allowing them to create our content. So a great example would be our most recent campaign that we've just launched. I don't know if any of you guys have seen it, but we just launched a huge collaboration with uh, Calvin Klein called Share Your Sexy. Um, and the idea behind that is that we're not telling you what's sexy. We're not going to tell you that, yeah, Joan Smalls in Calvin Klein underwear is super sexy. We want you to tell us what's sexy. We want you to upload your pictures and share your ideas of what sexy is, whether that is a person or a pizza. We've had both so far, so. <laughs> uh, yes. So, what is the outcome then of our social media strategy? Well. I'm going to tell you specifically about an example which is very close to my heart because I worked on it quite extensively um, and I also think that it's a quintessential example of how Zalando is trying to innovate and using social media as a springboard for a content experience. Uh, style in real life. This is a new prototype that we developed this year on the basis that our customers had several needs and several requests that were coming through across all of our social media communication. Uh, the needs were, from what we saw on our social media commentary, it was that people weren't inspired enough by our content. People see our huge assortment and they don't understand where to start and where to begin and it's also the age-old fashion trope I guess uh, that size zero skinny models are not real people. How do I look in this dress when I'm not a 22 inch waist 17 year old girl? 
Um, yes, so two very substantial challenges there that we had to overcome. Um, and we wanted to offer guidance and inspiration from real people, not models, not fashion influencers, just real people. So the challenge was to create a cross-channel platform uh, and a continuous story to invest in for our customers based on the sort of the social media zenith that is Humans of New York and also uh, Freunde von Freunde, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of already. Um, so the results were this multifaceted style experience which you see before you. We sourced four women who are our, our prototypes, our, uh, our models, so to speak. Um, these are four people who we just knew through friends or friends of friends. And you know you always have that one friend that you think, oh my god, she dresses so well or he dresses so well. I wish I knew how to do that. They make it look so easy. Well, these guys do make it look easy and they're going to show you how easy it is. Uh, yeah, the idea is that each week they present us a new look for a new occasion and they talk us through how they choose, how they dress for their body type and what their pain points are and how they overcome them as uh, fashion icons, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so that, okay. Uh, that is styleinreallife.com. Please check it out. Unlike me, it comes with a German setting as well, which is cool. Um, so, oh, there's a slide missing. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I wanted to leave you with the message. Imagine it's there. That uh, innovation is the key to what we're doing on social. Uh, we're not just advertising anymore. Obviously, we know that anyone that's graduated in marketing can tell you that it's not just about advertising. It's not just the old school print media. It's about a huge multifaceted experience. Uh, we have over 50 channels across our 14 markets. Um, I would tell you to follow us on uh, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Snapchat, all of that. It's all in that last slide. Um, but yeah, find us on Facebook, find us on Instagram, it's uh, Zalando underscore official. Find us on Snapchat, Zalando style. Um, yeah, basically, we're trying to bring social media forward with our content rather than just catching up with social media because the thing that I need to leave you with is the idea that things are constantly changing and constantly growing. Um, and as you said, Perhaps the social media age is over. Uh, I would have to disagree. I think it's growing ever larger and it's just blowing up at the moment and we see new channels springing up every day. So Zalando's main aim is to innovate and inspire. Thanks. Thank you, thank you Jose. Um, yeah, and I, I mean, my thesis was very provocative because I was like, okay, marketing in the social media age is like, it sh we shouldn't talk about it anymore because it should be, everybody should do it because, yeah, social media is there and it's not going to leave. So that, that was more my, my point here and definitely it has a worse. But I, again, another provocative question would be, could you imagine doing just social media? I mean, if you look to Nike, for example, they're very, very heavy engagement campaigns they do. So is that something you're going to shift more and more? So that because, I mean, the brand Zalando is very well known in Germany, thanks to TV spots and so on. So it wouldn't have worked without TV. I think we can say that. But Absolutely. is that something for the future you're going to emphasize on social more than ever? Absolutely. I think, um, I mean, that's essential for a brand to evolve in this day and age is that we really take our content from social media rather than from our TV spot. We don't just tailor a campaign towards TV and then adapt it to social. It needs to be the other way around now. We need to make social media campaigns that we can then plug on TV, mm -hmm. which is the case with our hashtag share your sexy campaign. Before that, we had hashtag share your style. I don't know if any of you guys caught that or wherever you are. Um, it's absolutely fundamental to Zalando's growth that we now focus primarily on social media and 
yeah, and really work on multi-platform experience, not just with our campaigns, but with all of our content and with all of our customer interaction. Mm -hmm. How many people are working in the social media team at Zalando? Interesting question. I mean, there is a core team of 10 of us. Mm -hmm. uh, we are the social media experts that deliver global social media strategies and global content and global campaigns. But of course, social media is a fundamentally localized thing. It's all about the local discussions and about what our customers are talking about to their friends and to their peers on social. So we then delegate our content down to our local brand managers who are experts in their markets and who are able to engage and interact with our fans on that local level. Mm -hmm. So yes, 10 core teams and then 14 local brand management teams. Okay. Um, we had, obviously, I mean, everybody knows that, we had this, um, this terrible thing on Friday in, in Paris, and uh, I was traveling because of Lufthansa strike. I was traveling from Munich to, to Hamburg in the train, six hours. I watched two, two movies, and then I switched over to Twitter and suddenly saw what's going on in Paris. And everybody was, you know, hashtagging, um, this, I don't even remember the hashtag, but it was like, if you look for something where you can go into, just, you know, yeah. uh, go there and, 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 and Paris, uh, uh, Parisians is, are gonna take you in their home. And I was, my first thought was, oh, it's great, but it's not gonna work with Germans because nobody in Germany uses Twitter. So what are the differences you see in the different countries and how do you react, especially with the skeptical Germans towards social media? Well, yes, that's absolutely true. I mean, first of all, yeah, I mean, that is one of the most incredible things about social media is the way that it creates a very close, tight-knit community out of a huge mass of people, you know? With the uh, Twitter, I can't remember either what the hashtag was, and my French is so terrible that I wouldn't even try and pronounce it. But uh, yeah, with the Twitter uh, phenomenon that you're referring to, that was a case where people were able to mark their homes as sort of safe homes to invite people in if they felt uh, uh, scared or threatened on the streets of Paris. Uh, we actually saw a similar thing in Sydney. Um, I think about this time last year, there was a, uh, a hostage situation and um, out of that came a lot of uh, Islamophobia, which um, led many people to take to social media and use the hashtag, I'll ride with you, which was an invitation from non-Muslims to ride with Muslims on public transport so they feel safe. So we can see that social media is now a, a communicative tool that really creates a sense of community like never before. Um, Germany, you're right, can be quite a skeptical market when it comes to social. Obviously, privacy here is so fundamental and we all know, you know, the controversy around Facebook data and around uh, Twitter data. So it is obviously going to be a very different strategy compared to, for example, the UK where I'm from, where social media is an uh, accepted fact of life for everyone. And um, it's, you know, micro-targeting and it's, it's pulling data from Facebook and all kinds of crazy things that you would never try in Germany. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, when it comes to social media on German Germany, we would perform, we would spend our money on different platforms, on Facebook, for example, where most of our fans are, and on Instagram, whereas in the UK, we're investing a lot in Snapchat and in uh, uh, Pinterest as well. Mm -hmm. So it really does vary country to country. So while we are a global team, we are always thinking about locally relevant stories and how we can best tell our stories on certain platforms. Great. Jose, thank you for the insights. I think you're, you're here for some more hours, minutes, whatever. Yes. Yeah, at least it's a break. And yeah, I think your Zalando team is over there as well, exhibiting. So if you're looking for a job at Zalando, just speak to those guys. And uh, thank you very much, Jose. And we're going to have much. a break of 10 minutes now. Thank you. Cheers.